हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज सुदीप यादव फ्रॉम स्पेक्ट्रम केमिस्ट्री एंड स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू आर फर्स्ट टाइम विजिटिंग टू माय चैनल सो प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट बेस्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ एनसीईआरटी बुक क्लास टेंथ सब्जेक्ट साइंस एंड इन सब्जेक्ट साइंस आई विल डिस्कस विद यू केमिस्ट्री एंड स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू आर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो सो प्लीज गो टू माई प्ले एंड वॉज द प्रीवियस फोर पार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर टू क्रिएट अ बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग फॉर दिस चैप्टर so students in this video we are going to discuss about the some more properties of acid and base so let's start students so number first we are going to discuss that what happens to an acid or a base in a water solution and this questions answer we will get by the help of activity which is given in your book the activity number is 2.9 so let's start students so first that is the procedure so let's see what is the procedure activity 2.9 asks us to read react solid sodium chloride with concentrated sulfuric acid and check if the gas evolved turn the blue litmus paper into the red or not let's see observation gas fumes produces but do not turn the blue litmus paper into the red why as we know that acid is a acid so it has to turns its color but it's not happening so let's see what's the explanation let's see explanation explanation solid sodium chloride react with concentrated sulfuric acid and form dry hydrochloric acid gas this is very important here is a dry hydrochloric acid gas here acid is produced in gaseous form as there is no water means there is a lack of the medium so this is very important point okay so you can see here the equation has been mentioned okay so when nacl that is the solid form is reacting with concentrated sulfuric acid it will turns into a salt that is sodium sulfate and acl gas is evolved so you can see here is experiment in the first experiment you can see there is a boiling tube in the boiling tube we have taken nacl and sulfuric acid that is concentrated sulfuric acid and in the second diagram that is the right hand side here is a cork and a bending tube has been placed with the cork along with cork okay and whatever the gas is evolving during the experiment it is detecting by the person by the blue litter sweeper okay so this is the experiment how we can detect it okay let's see a litmus paper works on h positive as a h positive or oh negative ion since there is a no water in hcl gas so hcl doesn't dissociate into its ion and does not turn the blue litmus thread so it means if acid as well as the base will behave uh, as uh, you can say that if we talk about the acl acl only behave as a acid when there will be a medium and medium will be water and why because when acl will dissolve inside it it will it has to be dissociate into its respective ions and similarly if you want to be if you do a test with the base so it has to be dissociate into the respective ions to show its natural behavior that is the acidic or a basic behavior for the respective acid or the base so this is very important so let's see what is the inference or conclusion from this activity concentrated acid and bases need to an aqueous medium to turn litmus paper means to to identify which one 
will be acidic and which one will be base so we having the need of the medium that is the water and in this water they will dissociate into the respective ions and then they will show the test with litmus paper so this is very important now fact what is the fact this is very important so if we use moist blue litmus paper as depicted in the diagram then acyl gas will turns blue litmus paper into the red actually in, in the first attempt the experiment done with dry litmus paper so at that time the blue litmus paper that was the dry it will not turns its color into the red but when in the second attempt when you will be dipped it inside the water at that time it will turns its color into the red why because due to the medium in the second attempt there was the medium that was the water so that is the reason behind it in the second attempt it is turning its color into the red so medium is required to test the acidic behavior for the acid or the basic behavior for the base with the medium this is very important okay now next how strong are acid or base solutions so let's see by the help of ps paper we can identify the strength of the acid or the base so let's see what are what is the ph scale and how we can identify the acidic or the basic behavior of the given substances so i scale developed to measure the concentration of hydrogen ion in a solution is known as the ph scale where p in ph implies potage in german ph scale ranges ranges from 0 that is the highly acidic if you having a solution and when you will be treat a ph paper with that solution and you are getting it's 0 ph so means this is the highly acidic solution and if you are getting 14 so at the time this will be highly alkaline solution the ph of a neutral solution is 7 so when you will be dissolve a ps paper in the any solution and you are getting 7 number so at the time you can say its ph is a 7 means it is a neutral okay so 0 will be highly acidic and 14 will be the highly alkaline and if there is a ph will be seven at the time this will be the natural substance okay acidic solution is represented by a value less than 7 on the ph scale means if you are getting quantity if you are getting number on ph scale less than 7 means this this solution will be acidic whereas basic solution is represented by a value greater than 7 on the ph scale means say onward 7 whatever the ph number like the 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 so means this solution will be the basic solution or the alkaline solution an increase in oh negative ion concentration in the solution results in increase in the strength of alkali hence the value of ph increases acid acids if you talk about the acids giving rise to more h positive ions are strong acid where those giving rise to less h positive ions are termed as weak acids so organic acids you can say these are the weak acids as well as the carbonic acid will be the weak acid because the value you will be get on the ph paper it will be 3 to 4 or 5 in between the 3 to 5 this value you will be get okay similarly bases given rise to more oh ions are strong bases whereas those giving rise to less oh negative ions are termed as the b bases so this is this will be clear i think salts of a strong acid and a strong base are the neutral with ph value of 7 means if you having a strong acid and strong base and both will be interact to each other so the 
salt forming what will the salt will will form during the chemical reaction it will be the neutral salt and if you talk about the another possibility like salt of strong acid suppose there is a strong acid and it's reacting with a weak base so the forming of the salt the salt which will be formed during this chemical reaction it will be the acidic because strong acid will dominate over the weak base so it will be acidic salt and salt of a strong base and a weak acid are basic in, in nature with a pH value more than the 7 so strong acid strong base means neutral strong base or you can say strong base and weak acid means basic salt and strong acid weak base means this will be the acidic salt so these are the possibilities okay so let's see here you can see in the given picture how the uh, how the ph will differ you can you can see increasing increasing acidic nature will below the 7 and uh, or and you can say if uh, we move from 7 to 14 the basicity of the substances will increase means the concentration of h positive ion will decrease so this is the ps paper and you can see here some uh, some substances ph is given like the caustic like the uh, gastric juice that will be the 1.2 approx 1.2 and lemon juice approx 2.2 pure water blood that is the 7.4 milk of magnesia 10 and sodium hydroxide solution that is the 14 so if we talk about the weak base so here milk of magnesia will be a weak base okay and weak acid you can say here lemon juice will be the weak acid okay because this is the organic acid and gastric juice somewhere it will be the strong acid okay now next activity number 2.11 this is very important okay so procedure let's see procedure activity 2.11 asks us to find the ph various substances so let's see observation saliva ph before the meal 7.4 it will be after the meal depends on the food taken whatever the food you have taken okay so it's depending on that if acidic food like eggs meat juice etc is taken so ph goes down okay if alkaline food is taken like vegetables grain ph may rise up to 8 so this will be observation so here's some here's some uh, substances and their ph, ph has been mentioned like lemon juice there is a 2.2 colorless aerated drink that is the foo carrot juice that is the 6 and coffee that is the 4.4 uh, 4.5 and tomato juice that is the 4.3 tap water 6 to 8.5 and 1 molar sodium hydroxide that is the 14 and 1 molar HCl that is the 0 so you can identify the pH strength of the given substances which has been determined okay which has been tested by the pH paper so you can see here pH paper has given okay so you can see okay now next some important significance of acid and bases in our life so let's see in our daily life let's see are plants and animals pH sensitive so let's see what will the answer our body works within the pH range of 7 to 7.8 8. Living organisms can survive only in a narrow range of pH change. When pH of rainwater is less than 5.6, it is called acid rain. When acid rain flows into the rivers, it lowers the pH of the river water. The survival of aquatic life in such rivers becomes difficult. 
so the ph is very important for the animals as well as the aquatic aquatic biodiversity this is very important okay so ph must be maintained what are the ph is existing inside the water in that condition this organism of the water can survive what is the ph of the soil in your backyard so let's see how we can identify the ph of the soil in your backyard plants requires a specific ph range for their wealthy growth to find out the ph required for the healthy growth of a plant you can collect the soil from various places and check the ph in the manner manner described below in activity 2.12 also you can note the down which plants are growing in the region from which you have collected the soil so let's see what is the activity 2.12 procedure activity 2.12 asks us to collect a soil sample dilute it and check the filter with the ph paper next filtrate sorry observation filtrate changes the color of filter paper to green explanation of ph of the normal soil ranges from 5.5 to 7.5 in this range ph paper show green so application soil ph is an important factor in the growth of the plant most of the plants grow in the ph range 5 to 7.5 means somewhere it will be acidic and somewhere it will be basic so adjusting the ph of the soil result in the optimum output from the plant so if you are if you want to get a good crop so you have to maintain the ph of the soil that must be neutral you can say okay for example plants like the apple cauliflower cucumber etc grow in the ph range in this ph range means 5 to 7.5 phosphate fertilizer increases the acidity of the soil while potassium fertilizer neutralizes the ph so means if your backyard soil is a uh, acidic so you you can neutralize its effect by the help of the basic substance like the calcium oxide calcium hydroxide calcium carbonate and if you having soil and its ph is a uh, more than 7 means the basic soil so you can neutralize its effect by the manure okay that is the organic matter and it is the as it will be acidic in nature okay now next ph in our digestive system it is very interesting to note that our stomach produces hydrochloric acid and its ph will be uh, approx 1.2 or 1 it helps in the digestion of the food without harming the stomach during indigestion the stomach produces too much acid and this causes the pain and irritation that is also known as acidity okay to get rid of this pain people use bases called the antacid like the milk of magnesia and the sodium bicarbonate one such remedy must have been suggested by you at the beginning of this chapter these antacid neutralize the excess acid that is magnesium hydroxide it is also known as milk of magnesia a mild base is often used for this purpose now next ph range as the cause of tooth decay this is very important tooth decay starts when the ph of the mouth is lower than the 5.5 so it means the ph of our mouth must be 5.5 okay so if it will be decrease so it will be somewhere harmful for a tooth or teeth okay tooth enamel made up of the calcium phosphate is the hardest substance in the body okay it does it does not dissolve in water but is corroded 
when the pH in the mouth is below 5.5. Why? Bacteria. Bacteria are responsible. Bacteria present in the mouth produce acid by degradation of sugar and food particles remaining in the mouth after eating. Means the food particles when stuck in between the tooth. Okay. The best way to prevent this is to clean the mouth after eating food using toothpaste. Why toothpaste? Because toothpaste having basic basic in nature means toothpaste will be basic in nature means it will it can neutralize the effect of the acid okay which is generally a basic for cleaning the teeth can neutralize the excess acid and prevent tooth decay now next topic self defense by animals and plants through chemical warfare so let's see how animal and plants protect themselves let's see have you ever seen stung by a honeybee basting leaves and acid which causes pain and irritation use of mild ways like baking soda on the stung area gives relief stings hair of nettle leaves injected methanoic acid and this is also known as formic acid causing burning pain and when you will be use a base over that part where it has been stung okay so it can be neutralized by the help of the mild base 